Click the tire down there. Huh? That story is Lancelot Bug Eater. Well, that's what he eat, you know. Just click there once more to start that one. Now you're going to see the start of this story. And after a minute, it gonna stop and ask you to draw something. Okay, here goes. Sometimes me and Lancelot like to play down at the junkyard. One time, we were sitting there and looking at this little bug. When all of a sudden, I got this feeling. Like I just knew that particular little bug was something special. Uh-uh, Lance man. Look to me like you're gonna eat that little bug. That's sure what it looked like. Don't you do it, man. I mean, just think about it, Lancelot. Maybe that bug not just an ordinary two-bite frog lunch. Maybe that bug one great explorer among all the bugs. Greetings! Now it's time for you to draw a picture for this story. We need a picture of the explorer bug's ship. Just grab the pencil and draw whatever you want. You better not knock them bugs off that ship. You might make them upset. Yeah, better not do that. Or who knows what they might do. Whip. Yeah! You're knocking yeah. the little bugs into the water. Well, see them all sailors. I guess them can probably swim. Looks like that ship firing at you. I thought them bugs might do something like that. Yeah, I guess those bugs don't have much of a sense of humor. Yeah, not like us. Yeah, not like us. That's a nice color. Oops. Did that make that ship go anyway? Somebody else should see this picture too. It's so amazing, I can hardly believe it. Yeah, I see them new. That's the biggest head I've ever seen. Yeah, look at the size of that head. What are you two heads talking about? Nothing, Ali. Are we new? Oops. No, that's right. We're not talking about nothing. Are you drawing a sail on that ship? Whip. How many little bugs can live on a ship like that one you're making?
Hey, think about this. If them a regular size bug, then that must be a little baby bug size ship. All done? That ship's not bad. I can't wait to see your next drawing. Imagine Lanceman, Vasquez de la Bogo, standing on the deck of its ship. It sails far, far across the seas. And it goes through some terrible storms. It's time for the next picture already. No, we need a frightening sea monster. Think you can make something that look really scary? Hello, pleased to meet you. My name is Sea Monster, but my friends all call me Sea. Do me a favor, would you, and make me extra scary. I love being extra scary. I do. I love it. I just love it. Hey, you! How's it going over there? Anybody clicking on you? No, I do. How about you? Oops! Nobody clicking on me either. Guess we just gotta wait. Yeah, I suppose. That's a good choice, man. I'm going to try it again. Don't try to resist. Sleep. Sleep. Is it working? Are you getting sleepy? Oh, I just love hypnotizing people. Looks like you're working pretty hard on this one. That's good. Thanks again for drawing me. If it wasn't for you, I'd just be eyes and a mouth. Like I'm so sure that would scare anybody. Let's get serious. Have you started yet? I'm not really paying attention. I really appreciate you drawing me. I really do. I think it's so sweet. How's it coming? Am I just the scariest thing anybody's ever seen? I can't wait till those little bugs see me. Mm-mm, yes. I am one hungry sea monster. If only there was something around here that I could... Wait a minute! Look at those two little heads over there. They might make a tasty snack. Hey you! You sea monster! You leave them little rasters alone! 
They're not bothering you. Now who said that? Could it be more food? Me and Lunch not scared of you, you big fishy thing. You just stay on that page till the story come. Maybe you better finish this drawing soon before it eats somebody. Hey, new! You, you think that sea monster might really eat us? No way, Ando. Don't worry. I don't believe that for a second. Oh, good. But I'm glad I'm on this side. Oh, great. Oh, I'm glad you finished with that one. You sure made that sea monster scary looking. Let's see what it's gonna do now in the story. And its ship get attacked by some big sea monster. This big and then what it is? The ship just sink right down under the water. And that little bug, it have to swim and swim until it get to the shore. But that don't even stop it. And after all that, it get to the new land. And then, it get eaten by a frog. So that new land, it never even get discovered. Just think about it, Landsman. What if that new land was Jamaica or something? Or just imagine this. Maybe it's a great painter, this bug. It just finished the greatest bug painting of all time. Hi there. We'll be back here at the drawing pad again. Now we need a picture of the greatest bug painting of all time. What do you think about wood paint anyway? Woo! What was that? This doesn't seem to be a safe place to stand. Oh, that bug back again. All right, I get the message. I know when I'm not wanted. Where am I going? You! Okay, okay already, I'm going. begins to use the brush. The anticipation is almost too great. You! I think someone is trying to tell me something. I can take a hint. I bet they don't know that this painting really painted by... I guess that bell means you're finished. Hmm. That is a righteous bug-like painting, man. Don't you think so, Lancelot? <laughs> and they hang it in the bug museum. And all the other bugs, they can't believe it. It's that good. Ah. And then, the phone rings and somebody said to that Hello. bug, Hurry up and come get your picture taken. You're gonna be in all the bug newspapers. You're gonna be one famous bug painter. So that bug drop everything and run outside to find the newspaper office. But just as it get outside, it get eaten by a frog. That's one sad day for all the bug art lovers of the world. Or, hmm, what about this? Maybe it's the Juliet bug on its way to see the Romeo bug. Your hand getting tired yet? Now we need a drawing of a castle for that Romeo bug. Any kind of castle that you think him living. 
That's what he live in. Sure, some castle. I hope Juliet Bug gonna be impressed with it. <laughs> she decided that she loved that Romeo Bug so much. She can't live another day without it. She decided right then and there. She just gonna run away with him. So she gracefully climbed down that tower. Whoops! She gonna run to meet him, but she get eaten by a frog. And that Romeo bug, it feeling so sad. It jump right into that frog mode to join that Juliet bug. It's one horrible tragedy, man. Or just suppose then that this bug come from another planet. Yeah, that's right. This some friendly alien bug. This alien bug come here on an important mission to warn us about some big alien robots that are about to invade the Earth. Hi again! Now we're gonna have three drawings in a row. And then that's all for this story. You ready? The first one is a drawing of the planet that the little alien bug come from. Hey! Careful! You might put a hole in my spacesuit. What are you trying to do? Kill me? Oh, look at that! It's the little alien bug. It's floating in outer space. Come on now, I'm not kidding. This is dangerous business being in outer space like this. Yikes! Bug to planet! Do you read me, planet? I'm being attacked by a giant pencil out here. Planet, come in, over! Emergency, emergency! Planet, come in! I need your help! This is bug, do you read me? Over! Oh, fine. Go ahead and poke me. If it hasn't popped my suit yet, I don't suppose it's gonna. And you seem to be enjoying it. You're wondering what's on the other end of this rope, huh? Look! I'm floating! This is great! You should try it. Open those shutters and that window up there if you want. What are you 
doing out here in outer space? That planet can be small or it can be big. It can be round or it can be some more unusual shape. You could even put some kind of ring or some moons or something around that planet. Whatever you think. this, I threw up all over the inside of my helmet. Just be glad you weren't here to see that. before. Hmm, looks smaller than I thought it would. Looks like you're doing the oceans, huh? Which we call our planet Jebel Nexertroth. <laughs> oh, I bet you're drawing the forest right now. Am I right? planet hey what you doing you rushing them like that now you apologize to that big person oh all right Ando. i'm sorry big giant person you can't take your time dear that's better planet Lance and me have ever seen man. Maybe that one was too easy. Now try this. The next one is a picture of the alien bugs flying saucer. Let's see what you can do with this one. I hope this one not gonna be too hard for you. Looks like you got an idea already. That was quick. That little bug inside the saucer. Him look pretty busy. Lots of colored lights and things like that. Isn't that right, Lanceman?
I'll finish with that flying saucer, huh? That's great. No, the last picture for this story is probably the very hardest one. This is a picture of a flying alien robot. Since it's an alien robot, it can look like just about anything. draw this one for you? Just kidding. That pencil is a little too big for me. I guess most robots made out of metal. But I suppose alien robots could be made out of anything. Are it gonna have to deal with us? Isn't that right, new one and do? That's right, Ollie. It's gonna have to deal with us. What you talking about, you? What are we gonna do to robots like that? Oh, I don't know. Maybe we can make lots of noise and scare them away. Oh, that might work. We are pretty good at that, all right? A red robot. Well, you did a fine job on that robot. Now you can relax and watch the rest of the story. Good job, man. Well, this bug land and go look for somebody so that it can tell them about the robots that are coming. Oh, but before it find anyone who will listen, guess what happened, Lanceman? It get eaten by a frog. So, Lanceman, could be any minute now we're gonna be invaded by humongous alien robots. All because some frog ate that bug. You know, Lancelot, I know you're a frog, and you like eating bugs, but I tell you what, you can have the rest of this carrot. How about that, Lanceman? Well, come on, man, let's go. I'm getting kind of hungry myself, you know. Now that you finished with the story, if you want to save it, just click here on the chest of books. If you Hello, can you hear me through this thing? Now, type in a name for this story, then press the button that says OK. OK, your story is saved. Now, 
You can either change the picture that goes with the title for this story with the arrow buttons or you can keep it the same by just pressing the OK button. Do you want to watch the story with all your pictures in it now?